Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Tuesday, October 23rd. This is for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Your guys' arching energy is the High Priestess and the Princess of Pentacles in reverse. So not following your intuition, um, not listening to um, your inner your uh inner voice holding back on offering somebody something um could be out of fear could be um out of different spiritual beliefs um your first card out is the emperor the nine of swords and the prince of pentacles in reverse the person you are dealing with All right, they have the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Queen of Cups in reverse, and the King of Cups in reverse. Oops. Your guys' overall energy together and the outcome of the day is the Hermit, the Prince of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Cups. All right, your bottom of the deck is the Four of Wands. And Strength card is underneath that. The Lovers after that. My goodness. Lots of big energy coming at you today. All right, so let me tip you down here so you can see what's going on. See what I'm talking about. Okay. So um, you guys could be dealing with uh, an Aries, but somebody, uh, you're wanting to be somebody who is stable, who hasn't put together, who um, who has no trouble following what they want to do. Um, you guys have had a lot of anxiety about this. Some of you could have been that stable person, could have had, thought you had it all together and something um, showed up in your life and kind of put you in your head a little bit, very stressed out about something, a decision that you had to make um, and you didn't want to make it, so you just stopped. Um, you guys, uh, for some of you, you are just stuck, uh, stuck in this thought of self-limiting beliefs, stuck in the thought that you can't ever get back to this status if you um, decide to not make an offer to somebody. You, you were moving in that direction at one point in time, but right now you're, you're starting to pull back your energy because you're letting your headspace, um, fill you with doubt. Um, the person you're dealing with, they have the 10 of cups in reverse. So, um, they could be having issues with their family at home. Um, or obviously this could be back and forth. You know, you guys already know it's vice versa, but somebody, um, more than likely the person you're dealing with. They are, uh, oh, I see what this is. Okay. So I should have looked at these cards before I said too much, but, um, this is somebody you're dealing with. Uh, this relationship is broken. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, you guys aren't following your inner voice. You're staying with an earth sign, another earth sign. This is an earth sign with an earth sign. You're staying with this person, um, and not moving forward towards what you want. Uh, even though your inner self is telling you that this relationship has run its course, um, because you're worried about losing stability. You're worried about losing everything that you have built, your kingdom, your empire. Um, you're worried about if you leave this earth sign, that your, uh, your financial status is going to suffer. You're, you're going to lose everything that you've worked so hard to build. So this has really caused you a lot of stress because, um, and kept you from making a love offer to somebody because you're worried about losing possessions or money or, or, um, what you've worked so hard to build. So it's causing you a lot of stress and keeping you from moving forward. Uh, the person that you're in a committed relationship with that you're scared to take this next step with, 
That is why you had the four of wands in reverse and strength. You need to face your fear and allow this broken uh, relationship, this broken marriage to run its course. There is no more happiness here. There is no more emotional fulfillment because you're both right here and you're both in reverse. You're emotionally drained. The love is gone. Um, and you're only there out of financial reasons. Um, it's time to let that go. It's time to have the strength to move forward and allow this relationship to end. Um, so you can move into a committed relationship with the person that you're meant to be with. Um, for the, today, I see you guys are going to go within. You're going to find your own inner light. Um, you guys are really being spiritually awakened this uh, month and next. It's very beautiful. You're no longer going to allow your thoughts to control your actions um, as far as being stuck. You're no longer worried about your financial situation. Um, and you are going to go after what you hope for, what you wish for, what you pray for. But you must first find that inner light. You must first go within and um, and decide what direction you're going to go in Uh but either way, it's time to move this situation forward because that second row, I mean, there, there's just no emotional uh, fulfillment there. So um, I do see by the end of the day, you will, um, your prayers are going to be answered in one form or another um, in the positive, and it is going to lead you into that four of wands relationship, but you really need to start listening to your inner voice. You have the princess and the prince, prince and princess of pinnacles here as well both in reverse, the king and queen of cups, both in reverse. So you need to leave this uh, situation. Um, you could have two children, a daughter and a son, um, the son being an air sign, the daughter being an earth sign as well. Um, but this relationship um, needs to move, needs to come to, let's see, where did I just go? Something flipped in here. Yeah. Those three just flipped. So we'll, I'm supposed to take them. Okay. So you are, by the end of the day, um, and of course, this energy goes back and forth a couple of days. So um, either a couple of days from today or a couple of days before, you are going to um, go after what it is you wish. You are going to have your prayers answered. Now, the three cards that came out was wedding, deception, retreat. So um, this is dealing with the person that you are married to or in a long-standing committed relationship. There's deception within this relationship. There's not happiness. There's You're emotionally drained. The love is lost. Um, it's ran its course. There is deception between the two of you um, within this marriage, within this uh, partnership. And it's time for you to, um, to listen to your inner guide, to listen to your inner voice. It's time for you to retreat. Take a step back from the world. And realize what it is that you want and um, listen to yourself. Don't go against what your inner uh, voice is telling you to do. That is source connecting with you, trying to help you, to guide you. It's time to disconnect from the world and listen to that voice. Decide what it is that you want and then go after it because it will be yours for the taking. If you face your fears and have the courage to move forward and be with the person that you truly love. So. All right, our sign. That's what I got for you guys on Tuesday. I will see you next time. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.